Oh! Her rap! That didn't actually do any damage to me at all. Welcome back, everybody, to Ravenhurst on 7 Days of Night. I'm an old guy gaming, and we have the Morning Horde coming in here. So let's see if we can blow a couple of these guys up. Get a few points here. Just the easiest way to handle them. Then we have someone down there, too. Yeah, let's jump down to here. So it's just two you two yahoos. Okay, I think that takes care of every. No, we got a dude down here. Looks like our crops are growing too, which is great. Uh, not all of them, but those I planted earlier anyway. Let's take care of this dude. Okay, so I spent the night uh, just going around wrenching cars and stuff, and uh, I have a few clips to show you from that, so let's take a look at that right now. Okay, so what we're going to do uh, is we're going to make some gasoline with all these cans that I got, and then we're going to head north, uh, do a couple of quick things at the Horde base, and then check all the other traders, and then hopefully get back uh, to the Horde base in time for uh, the Horde. And um, I can also make a yellow shotgun, uh, and it's not going to be that expensive to do because I got tons of parts. So if, excuse me, I think we'll do that, and then if we happen to luck out and find a better shotgun, um, you know, then we can use the one that we make uh, to help repair. But before we do anything else, let's just get gas going. So I'm going to grab all of this oil shale here. We're going to grab some uh, wood from here. Uh, I think we have a bunch of gunpowder cooking up in here. Yeah, we do. So let's cancel that for the moment and uh, get some gas going. put the gunpowder in here I'd like to make some more pipe bombs too but uh, I'm gonna have yeah maybe I'll have like a couple of stacks of pipe bombs I'm not gonna use them for the entire night but um, I'd like to have some especially for when the really mean mean dudes come in so let's just put the rest of this stuff in here uh, so the prizes for the night, and you guys should have seen this on the clip, is I found this almost perfect steel fire axe. Really, really nice find. And I also found uh, a purple ratchet, which we can use to basically repair uh, this guy. In fact, let's just do that right now because they're right at about... Oh, I guess I'm still doing cans, huh? Or not cans, buckets. Um, Let's see. So modify. Take this off of here. And... We're going to combine these together, and that actually gives us a 641, which is pretty good. This actually has three mod slots, too. I could put the rad remover on there just to increase its, um, whatchamacallit, but here, let's just combine these two right now. Mod what am I doing? Modify. Okay, so get those two off of there. And then this is this is gonna be a really nice fire axe force. Really? Uh, well, I guess it was still kind of low, wasn't it? All right. So modify this. We'll put those two on there, and I'll figure out what other mods to put on there later. I accidentally pulled this one back off, so let's put that back on. All right. So you have a rad remover. Uh, you've got all of that stuff on you. We could. Um, hmm. 
Yeah, we only have two mod slots in there. I don't think I want to do that right now. So I'm just going to put the rad remover in here. Okay, did we get all of the oil? We have one more thing of oil, Shale. I just want to make as much gas as we can. Put that in front of the gunpowder for now. Okay, so we need 57, 63-ish um, uh, burn time. That's what I'm trying to say here. So that gives us 22. That gives us, yeah, that's close enough. I don't feel like doing math right now. <laughs> okay, so let's put this away. Um, I will take care of the buckets later. Don't want to mess with that right now. We'll put the remaining gas cans in here. All right, do we have any armor that we can fit these this plating on? Right here, modify. Oh, no, I'm not going to give up the bandolier. These need to be repaired, and they already have plate on them anyways, and so do that. So does that. All right, shit. What do we need to repair these? Do I have any in here already? I do. Okay, let's just do a combine with those two for now. Won't fully repair them, but it'll be good enough. So modify, take this stuff off. Okay, cool. They're still red, so that's good. Okay, so we'll put this mod in here for now because I don't have anything else I can put them on. Did I look at the boots, actually? Boots, boots, boots. Yeah, that's already got a, a thing on it. So we'll put those in there. Let's wear these. I'm going to put some of these... Uh, we're going to put half of these in here just so we can save ourselves a stack. Put this meat in here. Uh, let's throw back a mineral water. And uh, top off our stack there. As far as food goes... Um, I think what we'll do is... We'll eat maybe three of these and see how that does for us. Okay, I want to check the garden really quick. So it's out of water. But these blueberries... Oh yeah, I planted those blueberries actually later, even though they're on the other side of the coin. Come here, dummy. So the corn's all done, the potatoes are done, the carrots are done. I guess the ground's just a little lower there. Cabbage, mushrooms, cukes, lettuce. Coffee was planted a little later, so it looks like we need to replenish the water in the coffee row. Those are still growing. Okay. Aren't you dead yet? You are now. Okay, so I have a little bit of rewatering to do here. Um, in fact, what time is it? It's 6.40 in the morning. I wouldn't mind cycling all of those crops, but that's going to take a little bit of time. And if I do that, of course, I'll do it off camera. So, all right, let's see. So many things to do, man. So many things to do. Uh, let's make a new shotgun. Um, so what we want to do is uh, we're going to make an auto shotgun. We can make a 201. I mean, it's really cheap. I've got stacks and stacks of these parts. It's just ridiculous how many of those parts I have. Okay, so uh, let's get one of those, one of these... Uh, what else does it want? Oh, we have to make the drum mod, too. On a shotgun. A shotgun barrel and shotgun parts and a receiver. Okay, so... Um, we got a receiver there, shotgun barrel right here. And that should be enough to make uh, an auto shotgun. So let's get that crafting. It's just barely yellow, which means we, can, we have one slot that we can put on it, but that's okay. Might as well just, uh, that's got 50 more seconds. Okay, let's put those away. Um, the next thing we want to do is we want to make the drum mod. So I'm going to take a little bit more steel, even though I have some, because I want that other steel to go to the base. So I think we needed those. And we need poly oil and mechanicals. Poly, mechanicals, and oil should be up here. Okay, we'll get that crafting. 
All right, what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to I'm going to spend some time redo the garden. I'm probably going to make another stack of pipe bombs too. When I'm done with all that, I will meet you guys up at uh, this town here at tr this Trader Gin. Uh, then we'll cycle up to our horde base, do a couple things there, run over here, trek, uh, check Trader Joel, check Trader Q, and tr check this Trader Joel. My mouth's not working. Uh, and then come back here, and by that time, it should be about time for the horde to start. Okay, so I'll see you guys here in just a little while. All right, guys, we are back and at uh, Trader Gin's. I tried to draw some of the zombies away. There was just a bazillion of them around here. So I don't really have a lot of time to be messing with them right now. But uh, let's just see what we can do. The same shit. Old cash and a wood splitter mod. That is really weird. I'm starting to see that like all the time. Um, I don't have my money on me. All right, well, let's just see what she has in her inventory. Okay, got a crappy tactical assault rifle. Shotgun player turret, needle and thread, tech junkie, motorcycle handlebar, handlebars. Green pump shotgun for hundred thousand or ten thousand, man. Oh, that is just so expensive. Okay, let's look at normal stash. All right. It's too bad I couldn't help you. Yeah, it's too bad you don't have yeah, a better inventory. Let's sell the, these to you. And uh, I guess that's I hope you get feeling it. better. I can't remember if I have uh, stuff in my mini bike to sell or not. Let's get the rock busters. Oh, you have a sugar butts too. Let's grab that. Those seem to be kind of rare. Nice little duck there, buddy. Didn't duck that time. All right, let's grab these. Um, I'm gonna grab this too, just because we got we can make chili dogs now. I'm not worried about jailbreakers. Okay, so let's head up north to Trader Joel next, and then I don't think we're gonna make it to the desert Trader Joel, so we can check him tomorrow morning. Kind of unfortunate because his inventory is gonna reset, but what can you do, right? Uh, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna cut up to here and there's um there's a trader joel right up right up in there i need to get it more oh shit um i think i can go this way i think i did it before on the vanilla playthrough hopefully we don't run into really rough terrain all right that was a bit of a rough trip <laughs> not gonna lie it was a bit of a rough trip let's um refuel our mini bike here and let's grab money out of here too and this I want to sell that another trader there's another trader even further to the west of the burnt biome that we'll eventually uncover but what I'd like to do moving forward is um, you know once a week like probably after horde night we can just make the rounds. It might even be worth our while to, to get a gyrocopter going for that, too. Oh, all right. Let's get these guys killed, because otherwise they're just going to bust a hole in the trader. One thing I miss about vanilla, man, is you can run to the trader and be perfectly safe. Not so in Ravenhurst. All right, Joel, what you got? He's got a yellow 44, a green tactical. That's it for secret, huh? That's not very impressive, I have to say. 
Really? That's all you got for normal stash? Oh, shit, man. I ran all the way up here for that? Okay, well, let's sell this. I know I could repair it. We have some repair kits. Thanks yeah, anyway. it's probably going to be Why worth repairing. Out there? 370 now. And 597. Yeah, that was worth the repair kit. Sure. Okay, let's sell him that. And uh, I think that's it. Safe travels. All right, let's look at his vending machine at least. I don't really want any of that stuff. Okay, we got to skedaddle over to the base. This is going to be tight. I should not be doing this. I really don't have time to be doing this, but I'm doing it anyway. Just very quick check on Trader Hugh. See your inventory. Um, night vision goggles, generator, da, 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 iron sledgehammer. It's got an orange pump shotgun. Got a green uh, 44. That would be kind of nice. Marksman rifle. Yeah. That's okay. That's enough chit chat for me today. Ah, it's enough chit chat for you too. Me too. I mean. Go away, Ronnie McDonnie. He must have just spawned right there. Okay, we got a skedaddle. All right, we are here. What we're going to do quickly is grab this. And we're going to just set it back up on top of the old base in case the worst happens. Right there is good enough. Uh, there's probably sleepers up there, too. <laughs> That'll be interesting. Let's just not die, okay? Let's just not die. Okay, we'll park the bike here, and I want to pull uh, this and this out of there. Let's also grab, let's just grab all of this stuff. Phew, okay, we're here with 10 minutes to spare. 10 in-game minutes, which is about 10 seconds for us. So let's see, we've got concrete and steel uh, in our thing for... Uh, repairing let's also grab some of this and we need electrical parts too and i think we're good to go all right this is mostly once again going to be a melee uh night so um i do have some explosives but i'm going to save those for the really nasty zeeks all right let's do this Oh shit! Terror Butcher! Okay, he's scary. Yeah, 
Okay, this guy breaks my block really quick, so we gotta blow him up. Okay, it doesn't look like he... Oh, shit! Didn't do uh, too too much damage to it. That's good. All right, let's check our fence post really quick. Yeah, those specialty monsters, man, they do so much damage really quick to the steel. Get out of here, spider. The next horde, uh, we're gonna we're gonna upgrade the polished steel. I've been I've been hanging on to it. I was selling it very early on because I just needed the money, but uh, this is just getting nasty. The hell is that thing? It's a bomber, I think. Her wrap! That didn't actually do any damage to me at all. It is morning. I survived another horde night. So what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to just get the hell out of here because the last time uh, we hung around, there was a behemoth outside. <laughs> and I don't want to uh, deal with him. Let's just wait a little bit longer and see if we can get a, a couple more, uh, you know, a good group of them here. Oh, that one's going to go in the hole. There we go. That one went pretty good. Yeah, we had some nasty Zeeks. Um, for sure. Uh, we had that, uh, you know, we had a couple of those bomber guys, and I kept trying to blow them up, but they would fall down the pit before my bomb would go off. <laughs> Fortunately, though, their bombs didn't do much damage to us you know through the wall so we did pretty good in that regard all right let's um let's shut that off and go this guy was a pain in the butt to kill uh just kind of leave the area and then we'll come back like i said and after things despawn and take a look and see what we got for bag drops but all, all in all pretty pretty good horde night um 
you know, there wasn't any point in time there where I was super concerned. Uh, everything held up well. Um, the thing that really actually gives me the most concern uh, is that I guess he's called a gimp monster. He's the dude that walks on his knuckles because he gets he doesn't get electrocuted. For some reason, he's able to escape the wires. Maybe he's immune. I don't know. But he gets up to that first bar, and he'll break it within a couple of seconds if you don't kill him. So he's a little concerning. But the rest of them, you know, not too bad, really. Let's go around here and see if they're gone. No behemoths outside the house this time? Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> that scared the hell out of me last on the last hard night when that happened. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and I'm going to have the eye candies ready, but I'm not going to actually take them unless we see, you know, a bunch of bags down there. And uh, let's make sure this is loaded. I don't think there's any bags in here. Um, oh, wait, where did that come from? I'm not sure where that came from. It's not none of my stuff, so we're good to go there. The base is in really good condition. I mean, you know, there's going to be some some uh, splash damage from explosions and stuff, but, I mean, it's it's in really good shape. All right, let's run down here and see how things are doing. I don't see any major block damage on the ramp, which is good. We do have some... Yellow bags down here. All right, so let's go ahead and pop this. And then uh, see what we got here. Okay. Nice. Very nice. We found that other red uh, steel axe, too. And another one, and a SWAT helmet. It's a, not a good one, but still a SWAT helmet. Okay. Beautiful. This isn't bad loot, you guys. This isn't bad loot at all. There we go. I'll take it. I'll take it. All right. So, another Horde Knight come and gone. Success. We are a little bit encumbered here. Um... I don't think I really want to throw anything out. You know what? I've got a bunch of steroids. Let's just take one. Let's just take one. Lots of steel fire axes and some good ones, too. Okay, so um, I think what we're going to do for the rest of... I'm not sure how I'm going to edit that Horde Knight. Of course, by the time you guys are watching this part of the video, you'll already know what I ha would have done. But I'm probably going to shorten it up. Maybe just show the parts you know, that have the, the really nasty monsters. Um, the only thing I'm planning on doing different for the next Horde Knight is, um, I'm probably going to upgrade, you know, the, this immediate area up here, you know, with the bars and stuff to, to polish steel. There's a, there's a bit of damage on, on here for sure. Uh, but what I'd like to do for the rest of today is I'd like to visit the traders, um, and see, you know, what they have, uh, for sale. And if, you know, in, and if any of them have anything like really good, even if we don't have, you know, enough money to buy it outright at the moment, we could raise the money to get it. Um, so we can start, of course, in this town with uh, with Trader Bob. And I will come back here later and, you know, touch everything up. But I mean, there's other than just some basic touch up that we don't really need to do anything else here. It's in super good shape. So this base is working out really good for us. It is not my intention to use this base for the whole rest of this playthrough. I have something else in mind um, that we'll probably work on closer to home. But uh, that thing was taking some hits from that uh, Phoenix, Diamond Phoenix buzzard thing. Let's just touch all that up there. Um, so, but, you know, I, I'm, I am planning on continuing to use this for, for a while longer. Probably, you know, for two, three more hordes-ish or so. Okay, so let's put, uh, we'll st put, keep a stack of concrete here. We got a stack of wood. We want to keep the steel and the forged iron here. Got a little bit of mortar in there. And electrical parts, of course, we want to keep here. And the scrap iron, just stuff that we might need for repairing. I don't think we need to keep anything else here. I think we're good on everything else. 
Okay. Cool. So, yeah, I'll come back and, and touch this up later. Let's head on out. And we'll go see Trader Bob. We'll sell a couple things to him. Now, all these axes and shovels and stuff that I found, I think I'm going to keep those because I can use them, you know, to com do a combined repairs. Even though I could make, you know, if I fix them up, I could probably make some decent cash on them. But um, I want to hang on to them. So, all right, let's put all of that stuff in here. Those are some really nice pieces. Uh, we'll keep the military helmet. This is so pretty low. I mean, the armor on it's actually one point better than what we're currently wearing, but we wouldn't be able to put any mods or anything on it. So I, I think I might hang on to it anyway, though. I don't really care about the steel knuckles. We'll sell, of course, the books, that sort of thing. Um, so I'm just trying to put stuff back in here that we don't need to be carrying around right now. Let's put the... We'll keep a stack of pipe bombs with us. Just in case... That, uh, I think I'm going to actually sell that. I, I've got so much brass, you guys. It's ridiculous how much brass I've got. Um, we're going to keep 70 feathers. Uh, we don't need to keep these. i got tons and tons of glasses. Uh, well, we could probably sell those, actually, couldn't we? Put the extra bandages back in there. Okay. Check this. Nothing. All right, Trader Bob, what you got, man? Let's look at his stash. Um, he's got an orange tactical trigger semi mod thing. He's got the gyrocopter chassis schematic. That would be, I'd be tempted to buy that. I mean, you know, the traders are so far apart and not all of them are easy to drive to. So we probably will eventually get a gyrocopter just to make the rounds for that reason. But I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait on that for just a little bit. We just need to remember that he's got it. Okay, so other, other than that, he doesn't have anything else really cool in his secret stash. Um, how much does this cost? $840 each? Woo, man, that's expensive. Okay. Yeah, we won't be selling any more of that. We're keeping everything we find moving forward. That is very, very expensive. Shock Messiah Volume 5. Shock is have 20. Yes, I'm buying that. Absolutely going to buy that. It's been a all right. Real pleasure. So that's really all he's got for us. What I'm going to do now. Oh, I didn't sell him the other stuff. Let's sell him this, that, and that. Here, you want two things that's concrete? No, he doesn't. How about this? And we were going to sell the jars and the radiator to you. I think that's it. So we can use this to combine repair our sledge. That was a nice little find there. Oh, let's sell these two. I okay. Thank you, kind I thank you too, kind sir. All right. So what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to go out to the desert and we're going to talk to uh, Trader Joel here, see what he's got. Um, then we'll probably cross back uh, into Trader Hugh up here. So we'll basically go up here, here. We're, we'll, we'll go all the way. Oh, that's Trader Hugh. We'll go all the way to here and talk to Trader Jen again. I'm not taking that route back, though. That was a rough ride. And then we'll come back. And go back down to this trader gin and then kind of back down into our area. Okay, so I probably won't show you the trip. I'll just show you um, our stop at each one of the traders. So I'll see you over at uh, Trader Joel's in the desert. All right, let's see what Trader Joel has for sale. Um, Nothing too fantastic there. Okay, that's not that great. Not gonna lie, that's not that great. Okay. Well, there's always Shamway up the road. You can try looting. We'll check the vending machine. We could make fruit salad with that, so let's do that. Uh, I'm gonna just leave the rest. The sham we could make sham chatter with, but I usually end up finding quite a bit of sham. Okay, I'll see you over to Trader Hugh. All right, let's see what Huey has for sale. 
try, gonna try and get in and get out without trying to kill a million zombos here. Motorcycle handlebars. Hunting rifle. I only do business for three How's that for a real customer? Okay, uh, dark trap, battery bank, military armor schematic. That wouldn't be too bad. All right, let's look at normal stuff. Double barrel shoddy. Got some crap pump shotguns. An orange tactical. That's enough chit Man. chat for me today. I tell you what, you guys, I am not impressed with uh, frickin' uh, a better barter level 5. I have yet to find anything absolutely amazing. Okay, well, let's go over to the other trader, Joel, and see what he has. Okay, here we are at Joel's. Forest Trader Joel. Oh, let's do gyrocopters accessory accessories schematic. Okay, you know what? Screw it. We're gonna buy this, and we're gonna buy the chassis back from Trader Bob because we're gonna have to go back that way anyway, and then we'll be able to actually make the gyrocopter. Uh, well, at least we'll have the skill to make it. Uh, nothing else really too fantastic there. Let's take a look in your normal stash. Nothing. Thanks for shopping, dude. Here. Come again. I don't want any of that stuff. Okay, let's go back to Bob, buy the um, chassis for the um, for the gyrocopter, and then um, we're still gonna check the other traders and see if they have anything worth, you know, earning money for. But we'll go back to Bob over here, get that chassis, then we'll come down and check Trader Jin. Take the highway down to the South City, check that Trader Gen, and then go back to our hometown, which is here, and, and check Wrecked. All right, we're back at Trader Bob, and we are going to buy the Gyrocopter Chassis Schematic. Y'all come back now. There we go. All right, so we now know how to make the Gyrocopter, everybody. Um, Accessories... Not too hard. And what about the chassis? 150 steel is not a big deal. Yeah, we're going to run into this stuff again, though, too. We're, so we're, we're going to need to come. Our radiator flat. Yeah, this is, I have, ooh, gyrocopter blade. Where the hell do we get that? Hmm. Maybe this isn't going to be so easy. <laughs> Probably need the crowbar for that, too. All right. Let's head down south and check this, the traders down south. All right, let's stop here off at uh, Rex and see what he's got. Um, okay, champ chowder, improved fittings, robotic AK, da, 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 da. nothing too amazing in his secret. That would be good for repairing, but I don't think I'm going to grab that right now. Okay. Uh, I got a couple things to sell to him, actually. I'll sell you this and this. I think that's all I wanted to sell to him. Uh, I should have dropped those bandages off. I stopped Careful off at the, there. Out the base and got some uh, more fuel and dropped a few things off. All right, let's go talk to Trader Jin. Okay, here we are at South Trader Jin. See what she's got going on. All right, barrel extender mod, engines, marksman rifle, purple iron sledge. Da, 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 nothing too fantastic there. Marksman 
large pipes. You can use that for um, irrigation when the time comes. Blade trap. Nope. It's too bad I couldn't help you. You know what we haven't well, done next time. is we haven't actually jacked her stuff. So let's do that now. Wow, there you go. Look at that. That's some good loot. All right, let's try it again. Nice purple compound crossbow and a crap level crossbow repeater. And our first steel sledgehammer. It's a level one. We couldn't mod it, but it's got 10 more melee and 28 more power attack. Uh, yeah, we might have to, we might have to consider that for sure. Okay. So visiting uh, South Trader Jin actually turned out to be uh, lucrative, but not for the normal reason. Right, Trader Jin? Okay. Thanks for letting me rob you. Okay. I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> All right, let's check our vending machine. Don't want any of that stuff. Okay, we have one more Trader Gen to check uh, up in the central city. I'll meet you guys up there. Okay, we're finally at the last Trader Gen's. Always seems to be a bunch of Ze Zeke's at this particular one. I don't know, they're probably at all of them. Okay, let's check your secret stash. You got a blue AK. You got the chassis for 52000 but that's a lot of bank. There's a lot of bank. We might end up having to do that, though, if we can't find them. What's this? Uh, lanterns. Yeah, I want that. Uh, we got to hurry. We're going to get rushed Remember here. Remember me if you need medical supplies. Okay. All right, let's look at our normal stash. Nothing super amazing. Bad, couldn't help you. Well, maybe next time. Okay, so let's learn that. And yeah, I think that is... You silly guys. I think that's about it then for the trader check this time around. Really? We only killed... Two zombies with that explosion? There we go. There we go. All right. So, guys, I think that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, we had a successful Horde Night 91. We went and checked all the traders. Uh, nobody really has anything spectacular, but we did find some pretty good loot at South Trader Gin's place um so i'm probably going to switch to that steel sledge even though it's crap uh level just because it does significantly more damage back here let's get back here a little ways further and where is that thing here it is let's just test this out well now the, the unfortunate thing is i can't put any mods on it but you know whoa glancing blow off of farmer brown's head not very happy about it either, is he? There we go. That's what we're looking for. Take some steel sledgehammer, baby. Some steel sledgehammer. Yeah, that hurts, doesn't it? He's a T1. All right. Let's see if we can get the T1 bow's head here. There we go. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Screw this crap. All right, you guys. We will catch you in the next episode. I'm um, probably going to do a few more things around the house. Maybe do a little bit more mining just so I can get some more concrete going. But it is my intention for this game week to start doing quests again and start having some fun hitting POIs. We need to find ourselves a crowbar. 
so that we can get the high-end parts and go from there. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.